just think about this. Like, here's just an idea for you, Zuber. Like, I know, like, your your handyman guy. I've met him at your events. Like, you could be like, you could find a guy like that. And like, look, I want to give you an opportunity, and I I'm also gonna, you know, reap the rewards out of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's 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 partner up. You have your your handyman business. Well, let's let's run this franchise, right? Like, yeah. you can bring in operators and give them equity owner ownership yep. in this business. Like, think like an entrepreneur, guys. Alrighty, folks, we are continuing our series of boring businesses that might be right for you. Today, we're going to talk about drywall repair. Can you imagine any business more boring, but frankly, needed? And maybe this will be the right one for you. Bo, what do you got? All right. So we're going to show, let me pull up my PowerPoint real quick here. All right. Uh, guys, I like the, this business I like a lot. Um, and I'm going to dive into why I like it a lot. First of all, for one territory, the investment range is, let me go full screen real quick. Uh, the uh, investment range is 87,350 to 112,850. And when we talk about investment range, uh, we're talking about um, franchise fee, first, uh, first couple months of working capital, uh, your lease for your truck, your marketing budget. That's, that's the kind of all in get started investment range is when we talk about their, their, um, this particular franchise, their item 19. So, uh, anytime you look at a franchise, after you have your initial conversation with the franchise or they're going to email you a copy of the FDD, which is a franchise disclosure document in the document there's a bunch of a couple hundred pages, but there's 23 items. Uh, item 19 is where they, they will put their financials in and, and some, Franchises that are just starting aren't going to be as detailed, but their item 19 for 2023 in their first quartile, average gross revenue, 502, 127, 502,000. Average labor, labor expenses, 151, 346. Average materials, 62, 656. A average cost of goods, 214. So basically average gross profit was 288, 124. So that's what you would see in an FDD. They're going to go over that in detail with you. Um, so why do I like this business? Non brick and mortar, low investment range. If we're talking about a hundred grand, we can get you into a franchise like this for about 10 or 12 grand out of pocket. Uh, so, um, this is, this is a business. Many of you can. And now remember, you're not going to be the one repairing. I mean, you could be an owner operator, but most people are doing this as a semi involved business model where you're managing, um, you could almost be semi passive in this if you in that regard you have to hire a face of the business so they they would need somebody as a face of the business uh, of the business and that person would need to have some kind of vested interest like profit share at least a minimum so um but i would say you'd be semi involved in this business home improvement industry is a 394 billion dollar uh, industry it's projected to hit 465 billion by 2023 uh their niche is really a uh, dr small dry, uh, drywall repair, right? Like, so where are they getting business? They have a call center at their corporate that routes calls and books appointments for you. They're doing SEO, you know, Google, Google my business, all that stuff and more. And then you as an operator, you're gonna build re relationships with uh, people like plumbers and uh, electricians. You know why? Because none of them do drywall repair. Mm -hmm. So there's no job too small for this business. Uh, you know, the average, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what the average ticket price is, but basically the way home service businesses operate, you start with one truck, one technician, uh, you build them up until they are completely booked up, uh, right before the, I would say once they're almost booked up, you'd start looking for another technician, another truck. Um, and then where are you getting these technicians? Well, a lot of the people that work for these big, big um, home builders and stuff that do the drywall, that's a very tiring job. This is a lot easier for them and they're gonna make the same money or even better money. So you can pull people from that are doing like the big jobs to do this because it's, it's just a lot easier on them because after years of doing drywall, you're gonna be pretty burnt out. So this is a, an easier job for them. Uh, and so basically you're going in, you're patching up, you're matching paint, you're cleaning the place. Uh, they have some proprietary tools where they do, you know, dust-free drywall repair. So you're not making a big mess. They do same day repairs, really a simple business model. Um, 
You know, most people that come into this, they're not going to just buy one territory. They're going to buy two or three. So they own their, their, their local market. That, that would be the game plan on, on a business like this. Um, I talked about industry size, 394 mil, billion. It's going to, it's growing, of course. Uh, it's a booming industry. Uh, no job too small, quick and easy estimates. They have proprietary software. They have a point of sale system, same day service, satisfaction guarantee program. You can run it as an owner operator, executive model, investor model. We can get into detail on that if you're interested in a brand like this. Uh, ideal owners desire to learn and grow hands on construction background. That would be, you know, obviously if you have it, that'd be great, but, um, you're going to hire for that. Uh, passion for uh, serving the community, strong work ethic. You like to do the work, values outstanding customer service. Uh, this They have 153 territories sold, maybe more at this time. Uh, they have 123 open so far. They're in 30 states. Franchise fee. So a franchise fee is based on territories. So one territory is 49.5. If you did a, a two pack, we call them two territories, 79, 500, three pack. 109, 500. So for one territory, you're looking at an investment range between 87 to 112,000. Uh, you know, good franchise model. Um, but yeah, that's that's another boring business. Um, simple. Um, you can you can run it as a um, semi absentee. Um, and um, actually, the 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 rep that I talked to uh, that does the franchise development, he actually owns three territories of the of the franchise oh, and his wife that. he his wife is runs the business so oh, i love that right so you don't and he he's not a handy guy so you don't need that so guys there's a lot of these business models out there for 100 grand all in investment you can you can see there's money to be made um and you're not the one that's doing the drywall repair so yeah and again the other thing that we need to hit on is people hear you say 100 grand three or four different times and like dude i don't have 100 grand you don't need a hundred grand. That's why the concierge to small business lending is here. You need significantly less than that. Yeah. If it's an approved franchise with the bank, one of the banks I work with, they fund 90%, 90% of total costs. And, so yeah. and if I remember correctly, you could go get that 10 grand from an investor as long as they own less than 20%, I think. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. I mean, I'm just, paying attention. I'm paying attention, just, Bo. Yeah. Just think about this. Like, here's just an idea for you, Zuber. Like, I know you like your, your handyman guy. I've met him at your events. Like, you could be like, you could find a guy like that. And like, look, I want to give you an opportunity. And I, I'm also going to, you know, reap the rewards out of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's, let's, let's partner up. You have your, your handyman business. Well, let's, let's run this franchise, right? Like yeah. you can bring in operators and give them equity owner ownership yep. in this business. Like, think like an entrepreneur, guys. Think like an entrepreneur. That's what I'm like totally you know putting my hat on just like how i uh mm -hmm. my wife invested in the marina restaurant we're not operating it but we're investors right like and we're reaping the rewards so uh i eventually could see myself doing more of that like i know an investor group that's what they do they invest in different franchises they bring in operators like up and coming rising stars mm -hmm. and then they invest in them and they give them ownership into the business right they work their way into ownership into the business so Guys, if you start thinking about this, like we, we you know, on, on, on Zuber's channel, we talk about creative deal structure. This is the yeah. same thing. Let's structure creative deals. <laughs> like seriously. Yeah. yeah. Folks, again, I think, again, if you follow my channel, you know that I think we are in a recession, even if we're not in one, one is coming. A lot of you uh, are very dependent in, on your W-2 as your sole source of income. I think. I think you should at least have a conversation, maybe take the, uh, what is it called? Zoracle? Yeah, I call right it an entrepreneurial you. assessment. Yeah, it's a Zorical profile. Yeah, yeah, Zorical profile. Just to have the conversation. But if they wanted to reach out and talk about drywall, vending, anything else, how would they do that? Just go to onerentalmeeting.com. It's that simple, guys. I'll spend 30 minutes with you. Uh, we'll just, you know, I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't know what kind of business I want to invest in. And that's why I tell you, look, even I get so many people that watch Cody Sanchez and they're like, I'm going to buy a boring business. Yeah. And then ah! I say, and I, then I say, you know, come talk to, to come talk to us. Let us take you through our discovery process. Keep on looking at, at acquiring businesses. Even what Cody Sanchez just did. What does she just do? She invested in Resi Brand, 
a yeah. franchise uh genius uh, genius yeah, move right because she, she knows not everybody is cut out to own an existing business some people need a little bit more hand holding and and even like experienced entrepreneurs that own their own businesses that started their own business they invest in franchises too because they like the business model they like the systems and processes so like now i think cody sanchez has changed her tune a little and bit so yep. she's not just going to be like oh buy buy an existing business add value now she's going to say oh well yeah, have you thought yeah. about a franchise? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Bo, you're amazing, man. Thank you for all you do. Again, onerentalmeeting.com. He has a URL just for this channel. Ping it. Get your 15, 30 minutes. Have fun. Bo, you're amazing. Have a good week. Thank you. Mm -hmm.